Hi, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to track big formula. Here, big formula means when a formula is having so many cell references, how can we review all those cell references? In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important part of the Excel that is name box. This is the name box I'm talking about. When you just keep the cursor, just hover on this place, you will find a small screen tip called name box. Generally, the meaning of the name box is whenever you keep the cursor anywhere, you can find the cell name in the name box. But name box is having so many other users. Now let me go into the case study. In this case study, I have taken the expenditure ledger where each individual GL expenditure is there. We are having the ledger code, we are having the ledger name and we are having the amount. Let's say this entire work done by my staff. My staff has prepared a summary. This is a schedule. Out of all the expenditures individually, he made the summary into different buckets, admin expenditure, professional fee, other miscellaneous and so on. Now I want to review this entire schedule whether it has taken correctly or not. Now I kept my cursor here. This is having three values which are flowing from the expenditure sheet, C4 cell, C6 cell and C9 cell. So what I need to do to check whether these three values are belongs to admin expenditure, I should go to expenditure. I should check it out. This is the C4. This is C6 and this is C9. You can check it out here in the taskbar. 18569 is absolutely matching with 18569. So I can review these three values and so on. That is a normal traditional method we follow. This is also okay where three items are there. But if there is a situation where you have so many items, that means more than two, three. If it is two items or three items, I can store in my memory. I can go back to the previous sheet and I can start looking into those items. When there is a situation where it is more than 10, 20, 30, it's very difficult for us to know what items are flowing into this formula. Now, even if I'm trying to remember C5, C9, C12, C17, oh my God, it's very difficult. So now, by using this technique, I'll tell you how can we select all these values directly from the other sheet. Friends, there is a concept in Excel called trace precedence. For example, 10, 20, 30. Let's say I have taken here the plus of 10 plus 20 plus 30. If I want to know from where these three items are coming, I can simply go to the formulas tab. I can click trace precedence. So when I click trace precedence, it has given me a blue arrow. Blue arrow is indicating it is referring into the same Excel. Otherwise, if I want to select all these three, it's very simple. I can keep my cursor here. I can use the shortcut control open bracket. When I use the shortcut control open bracket, all these three got selected. Now I can simply change the color so that I can understand that this value is dependent on these three cells. In the same way, if I am trying to use control and open bracket, if I do control open bracket, it is going to the other sheet, but it is selecting the first item among all. It's not selecting all the items. In fact, if you observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 references are there, but it is directly taking me into C5 cell because that is the first reference. The point which I would like to stretch here Control open bracket only works if the reference is in the same sheet. When the reference is from the other sheet, control open bracket will not work. That always selects the first reference. If this is the case, how can I select all these cells from the other sheet? It's very simple. What I'll be doing now, let me select this entire formula, control C. Now, I'm just going here. Let me paste here, control V. Now, I will select these two cells. I'll do control H. Control plus H is for the replace. I want to find plus 
I want to replace with comma so that in this selection wherever there is a plus symbol that will get replaced with the comma let me click replace all wow nine plus symbols got replaced with comma let me close now simple copy this control C this is the name box right let me keep the cursor in the name box let me do control V I just did control V if you observe this is having all the values if I enter check it out what will happen it has taken me into the other sheet and it has selected all the 10 cells now let me change the color of all these cells now I can start analyzing whether these all belongs to the other expenses or not in fact in the other expenses 40,829 but when I just got the precedence in fact the, my staff has selected something the blank also which is wrong otherwise if this technique is not there you have to go to each and every item and you should remember you should go back and you should review it's very difficult friends there are so many users of the name box this is one of the user in fact I generally use the name box for other purposes also now for example if I want to select a1 till d10 I can simply write here select it many a times if you want to select for example I want to select from c1 till c1 lakh normally what we do we'll keep the cursor here we'll do shift paste down paste down paste down and so on but I have to go down one lakh cells instead you know what I'll be doing I'll simply type here c1 colon c1 lakh so it will get select okay in next video maybe we will cover much elaborate with respect to the name box all the advantages in this video I have given you a trick through which you can track your big formula thank you so much see you all in the next video if you like these videos consider subscribing this channel you can also join into our telegram group you can find the link in the video description see you in the next video bye bye